here so i am back in another video and this time we're checking out this new, brand new sony x900f this is the 65 inch version right here at fry's electronics in san diego it is right here check out the price 21.98 that's pretty much 2200 dollars 65 inch 4k hdr x1 extreme chip so that is one of the biggest difference from this new model and the the last year's version now it features the x1 extreme chip which they're going to implement dolby vision in the future hopefully they they do that pretty soon but another thing i noticed is that well everybody notices is, is the stand remember how this one they have it facing inside because they don't have enough space for for to have it facing outside and it, it does look kind of awkward also they're using this soundbar right here but it's just uh, it looks kind of awkward well they having they have this demo running right now and of course every time they put demos on these TVs they look beautiful viewing angles I like to say is look very nice Yeah, viewing angles look pretty nice too. Um, also, this feels like plastic. I don't know. This feels kind of metal too. At the same time, the back is plastic. It's not as thick as other TVs. But just keep in mind that this is full array backlit TV. So you're going to have it's a little bit thicker or bigger from uh, other TVs compared to other TVs but remember this kind of feature it has a better picture quality because it's using full array and also combined with local dimming makes the picture quality on these TVs a lot better I think if you're looking for a TV one of the best ones that you can get if you're looking for an LCD LED TV will be something that features full array backlit or full array with local dimming like this Sony. All right guys, before I move out from Sony section, I found this, the X850F. Now this is pretty much like the X900E from last year, but now they move it to the X850F. This is a 75 inch TV, so yeah, it's pretty big. Uh, don't mind those reflections. Uh, the TV actually looks pretty good. There's a big bright lights in this store so yeah you're going to have a lot of reflections here but the TV actually looks pretty pretty good pretty decent I mean it's pretty much having the X900E from last year in this model this TV is kind of expensive because it's a what is it, 85 inch I'm sorry did I, I think I said 75 but this is an 85 inch and also features for, uh, the X1 processor now the difference is that this is not the extreme X1 extreme processor like the X900F has. So this is just the X1 extreme. That's what the X1 regular processor. That's why I'm saying that this is similar to last year's X900E. My God, 85 inch. It's pretty big. 4498, $4,500 for this TV. I don't think this TV is well, you know what? By the size of this, yeah, it also kind of looks like a full array. But I'm not very familiar just yet with this one. I have to look deep, uh, look for more information about this TV. But it looks like a full array as well. I don't know. But I do have to say, uh, picture-wise, well, looks beautiful. 85 inch wow <laughs> that's pretty nice and big over here there is the Sony X900F but this is the 55 inch version and the price is not bad 1500 for a brand new 55 inch X900F and the 65 inch well we already know the price is uh, 2200 but well, this is the 850F. This over here is the 900F 65 inch, 2200. That's a pretty good price. Uh, 
65 inch on the 850F. I can I don't see the price. Yeah, I don't see the price anywhere. But prices are actually pretty affordable, much better than last year. Actually, I think they're pretty much the same as last year when they came out. I'm not exactly sure, but well, these are the new prices for the new Sony model TVs. And from what I heard, I think the new uh, Sony is also going to bring a new 930F. So we'll see about that.